Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on fractions, types of fractions, equivalent fractions and simplest form. As always, a special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy! Good luck with this puzzle and you'll find the answer at the end. The definition of a fraction. A fraction is a numerical quantity which can be represented in the form a over b where a and b are integers. Remember that integers are whole numbers. Numerator and denominator. The numerator is the number on top and the denominator is the number on the bottom. Simple fractions. A simple fraction is one where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. For example, the above three fractions are simple fractions because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. For example, 3 is smaller than 4. And that is why it's a simple fraction. And it's the same for these two fractions. The numerator is smaller than the denominator. Improper fractions. An improper fraction is one where the numerator is larger than the denominator. So if you look here, the numerator is 7, the denominator is 4, and it's the same for these two fractions here. So the above three fractions are improper fractions because the numerator is larger than the denominator. Mixed fraction or mixed number. A mixed fraction, which is sometimes called a mixed number, is made up of a whole number and a fraction. So here you see the whole number is 2 and the fraction is 3 over 4. Here the whole number is 5 and the fraction is 7 over 8. So the above two fractions are mixed fractions because they are made up of a whole number and a fraction. Changing a mixed fraction to an improper fraction. Performing the above operation is very simple. It requires us to form a multiplication and an addition. Now here are two very good examples. Two and three quarters. To change that to an improper fraction, all you do, four times two is eight, plus three gives you 11. So the 11 goes on top in the numerator and the four becomes the denominator. The next example, seven times five is 35, plus six is 41. So there's the 41, and there is your 7. Equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions have the same value. However, they, they do not have to look the same. So here is a fraction 1 half. It is exactly the same as 3 over 6. The reason being... 3 times 1 gives you 3, 3 times 2 gives you 6. So you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number and you have an equivalent fraction. Now let's look at 2 over 3. Here, 2 over 3 is the same as 8 over 12. Why is that the case? Because 2 times 4 gives you 8, 3 times 4 gives you 12. And that's why they are equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions continued. You can, also, you can also start off with a fraction and perform division to calculate an equivalent fraction. Now here, 18 over 24 is equivalent to 9 over 12. Now this is the reason. 
18 divided by 2 gives you 9. 24 divided by 2 gives you 12. And that's why they are equivalent. Here, 36 divided by 3 gives you 12. 45 divided by 3 gives you 15. Writing a fraction in simplest form. A fraction A over B is in simplest form when both A and B cannot be reduced any further. Now here we have started with 18 over 24 and we have to write that in simplest form. Now here is the question we ask each other. It's a very simple question. What is the largest number that can be divided evenly into both the numerator and the denominator? Now we see here, 18 divided by 6 gives you 3. 24 divided by 6 gives you 4. So this is the simplest form. In this example, 36 divided by 9 gives you 4. 45 divided by 9 gives you 5. And this is the simplest form. Quick quiz. Now, as before, these are simple questions to test your understanding. And if you wish, you can pause the video and answer the above and the answers are at the end and you can go back and look at the slides at any time to help you. The answer to puzzle three if you remember and the answer is forgive and forget. If you look at that carefully I'm sure you'll work out why that is the answer. Quick quiz answers here they are there are four answers there on the right hand side and at any time, you can check through the lessons just to verify those answers. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.